my hello um horror practices with your dude 666. Um sorry I never made a video in a couple of weeks. I just got a lot to do since it's um the beginning of the school year. So I just sort of feel the main world of the bikes you I have all of them as you see. So first um I'll start with the original the original. Um this is a really awesome movie. It's really about this family that goes camping and um you know and then um they smash their car to the rabbit hole in the middle of the road and then well because the the old man went to the gas station they went into this old man went to the gas station and um he told them not to go in. <clears throat> he told them to stay on paved road and then they try to make a shortcut so they go on paved road and stuff and then um, they read it on, they read, they read on the map that um, this was um, a bomb testing site, a bomb site, and then um, you know, they all got freaked out, and then um, a rabbit jumps on the middle of the road, and they crash the car. But yeah, it was a very violent film for its time. Um, the characters are pretty. Oh, the character of Quentin Miller actually really except for the dad. He probably the best character out of them all. Um, Big John is the game and the Big John is the big dog. Yeah, he's a um, positive big dog. And the family's name is by the Carters. Um, uh, this movie's crazy. Um, it says terrible carling and nasty black for the movie. But, and then we know the dog now. Um, they just went into this, this, this can, this family of cannibals and then start getting killed off one by one. Um, you know, you really feel for these characters because, um, they, I might really know how to say what this film is, but really awesome. They would be like the, uh, screen, most like in the left, the night and on the screen, most like cake, most crazy, most of it in my own group. This is the second film. This film is original last time I left. If you did not own it, I have to give you a film. This is the last awesome film. Um, this is the film from like 35. Um, I actually like this film quite a bit. It's really cheesy. Um, yeah. I'll tell you this film. These people that go to, um, people go on like a trip. Because they go through by place in the desert. And then um the bus breaks down and stuff. And then they they are survive from this one open all business. And you know um the the action's actually quite bad. It's still a pretty awesome thing. Um, I don't really want to say about this. I was going to do this two times, okay? Um, uh, it's not as good as you. This is my favorite color, this used to be my favorite. This is the color of me. The color of the second favorite I've seen is, um, really cheesy. Everyone hates this film. This is the most fun of my time. This whole film, everything. But, right, yeah. But anyways, um, it's about these people that, um, go on a four or six to the third place and then they break down and they find that family of, you know, Jupiter, I think Jupiter and, uh, and Pluto, and, you know, the animals that get killed off. But this one's not more fun than the original because it's way more important. But yes, definitely recommend it. Then now it's really nice. Really nice. This is pretty much like the same story to the original, but it's probably better than the original. Um, they're more violent. The cannibal group that looks very awesome. And, you know, they just have to look at the story. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see it. They're not wanting to go there. But, um, yeah, it's pretty much like the same story to the original, but it's probably better than the original. Some scenes are quite disturbing. Like when, you know, the 
watch for a little while. And once you get to date, you're going to date. That's good. That's a good idea. Um, but yeah, this is an awesome film. Not much to say about it, because pretty much the same as the original. But so I probably like this to be a good one. I'm not afraid of it. It's the unrated version. And this is also the unrated one. I think it's a good one. I don't know if this is recommended. And it's really probably the good thing to see is that it's like part two. Like, um, 2007 version. Unrated. This film, I actually like it. Um, I'm back to my own now. I'm going to be cut there because I'm back to my own now. I bought this actually for two dollars in the pawn shop. Um, this film is more weird. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. This is mainly about the um, soldiers that are training in the mountain before they go to the war. And then, um, you know, this all start getting pulled off. The acting's quite bad in the end. You know, I can't believe that us creating Roby directed this. Most of uh, us these two awesome films. This, this, and others. But I can't believe he would make this film. You know, I have higher standards with the lot film into this film. So when I was in a really good school plan, I lost this, I liked it more. And then I um, watched it again, didn't like it much. And then um, I found out Wes Craven wrote and directed this film. Like, how would Wes Craven write and direct a film like this? But he also wrote it with his son, Jonathan Craven. So I had stuff to talk to. Um, but, you know, it's alright. I guess I'd recommend it. I give this a um eight and a half out of ten value. It's a really awesome film. You know, it's um it's a very old film from that very old very good budget. Um like um I could give this one a seven out of ten, seven and a half. Um but this is I still recommend this one. This, I can give this a 9 out of 10. Because this one is just phenomenal. Very, very, very fun. Um, and, you know, nothing much else to say about it. It's awesome. Go watch it. There's a bitch. And this, I can give this one a 5 out of 10. But this isn't the best film out of the series. It's just, uh, alright. And here's actually another good film. It's called The Woods Have Eyes on Blue Way. Um, this is a really cheesy one. It's really good really as well. This one has nothing to do with these films. These kids just go on a hike. And their family goes to camp and stuff. And then, you know, that's like in the film office. You know, pretty sure you saw some get killed. I saw a friend get killed because he went up to the house and, you know. But this film is really cheesy, really good. Probably a little bit there, possibly a little bit more film in the 21st century. But yeah, recommend this one. I'd have to give this a 6.5 out of 10. But yes, great movie. So yeah, there's my health advice to everyone. I don't know what I'll be doing next, but, you know, I'll be back with another video probably tomorrow or sometime later today, but, bye, peace.